Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Things are really busy. You can see that Mike and Connie are working their butts off. A new steaming thing that we want to use to maybe help clean some things right here. And it's a busy day. I've got a lot going on. And it's been a while since we've been over to the aquarium. We're house. gonna head over there pretty soon. But first, I'm heading over to Keys to pick up a couple supplies. It's a little bit embarrassing that all I have is like a 29 gallon saltwater fish tank. As far as fish goes, when I'm making an entire aquarium, that's gonna have hundreds of thousands of gallons. But they actually sell saltwater pre-mixed over at Keys. So we're gonna pick that plus up. We're gonna pick up some more food for these guys. What do you say we hit the road? The road. Pretty excited that we actually got some Animal Con shirts in. These are gonna be available at the event here. You guys don't get the staff ones though, but they're pretty dope. I'm absolutely excited about that. You guys know that it's September 15th through the 17th, Orlando, Florida, AnimalConUSA.com. Put a link in the description. You do not want to miss this event. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. Be there. Hey Mike, you need anything from Keys? coming here just to look at the fish and stuff like that. I mean, you got the call all the live corals, you got the anemones and you know, all kinds of tanks. Cool. I mean, to, to think that one day here, in the next few months, we're gonna be looking at our own tanks like this is freaking awesome. One of the tanks I'm really excited about is to do a clown tank. We're gonna have a big giant that tank. That might have like a hundred clowns and an anemone. Just clowns and anemones, no other fish and stuff like that. I think it's gonna be really you know, cool. Clownfish have always been something I really it's love. wild to think that we're really not that far away from this happening. Uh, it seems like we've got a lot to do and we do. But realistically, I mean, in the next few months, we're going to be putting water in tanks, which seems almost impossible. Speaking of water, I've got to get this filled up with some salt water. Yeah, so are you. Oh, yeah, he'll get you one. There you go. Oh, thanks. Thank have you, a good thank day, thank and you, he'll you. have the water up here. Thank you. Bloodworms. All right, time to head over to the aquarium. So we have Shrek and Fiona here. I think this one's actually Fiona, and this is Shrek back here. I'm not gonna touch him because he's been a little bit not so touchy lately. But they laid eggs a little while ago, and they hatched today. So let's take a look at them. We also got some little gargoyle babies over here. We can take a look at too. Pretty cool. This one looks like more contrasted than this one. This one might just be more fired up though. Super cute. It's crazy just how big they come out. Yeah. This one looks like it's gonna have a lot of nice color on it. This one might too once it fires up. But wow. lots of nice and pinky purple color. Looks like we got a couple reticulated gargoyle geckos. This one might actually be a super blotch. We'll have to see once it grows some more, but you can see it's got some like little nice blotching on its head and a lot of coverage. You recall Dixie recently laid some eggs. Those are all slugs though. Oh. Yeah, those are all bad eggs. <laughs> and because there could be certain like scents associated with that, we don't want them fighting with each other. Dixie might feel like she's still got to defend her egg clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. We're gonna deep clean everything and as you can see it's gonna be a very difficult process because it is a tight space. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. This is so that they don't get into too much trouble. How well did the baby gate work last time? It worked. It worked well. They didn't even try to like go past it. This rod does not move. So I'm gonna have to like climb over it, maneuver around it. Um, Good thing I'm pretty small. I can get up in there. Unlike Mike, it would be like a bull in a china shop. Sorry, Mike. Come on. This is Dixie. She lost a lot of weight. Probably is like happy to just get away from her. All right, you guys be good. I'm gonna clean your enclosure. So we're at the aquarium house just doing a little bit of maintenance and stuff like that. I have to come die a couple times a week to fill up the automatic feeder. You can see the fish, see the lab, already know that fish food's coming. And it's really cool because of course these are all African cichlids here. And they have a bunch of little fries. Little fish that actually are babies that are cruising around. And basically these are mouth breeders. What happens is they actually hatch eggs and then actually carry them in their mouth for a period of time. And then eventually the fish come out. So there's literally probably 50 or 60 little baby cichlids in here that are gonna get bigger. It's cool. I love this tank so much, but we do have to fill the auto feeder. That was a mess. Now that I fed the fish up here, we're gonna do a quick run through of the house in case you guys are interested and haven't seen it already. This is the living room area. We've got a pondless waterfall over here. Got a 120 inch projection screen, high def television. For watching the games or watching a movie or whatever, it's really cool. Obviously you guys have already seen the 750 gallon right here. Uh, the actual kitchen here, which is just crazy. All the little lights and the little you know, nuances here. I just love this house so much. It's so cool. Of course we have another little sitting area right here. Got the floating staircase with the glass in it so you don't fall off and stuff like that. Of course we have our game 
game room. We've got, this is so cool, man. This is called an infinity table. You can play all your board Monopoly. games, Scrabble, you, know, you name it on here. It's really, really cool. Air hockey. I'm an air hockey uh, professional, so uh, this is a good one for me. Of course, we've got right. an arcade game. This is um, where I have to play Galaga because that's what I did when I was a kid and I absolutely love it. I think it's cool that it's a glass room. Uh, don't bump into the wall when you're leaving because uh, a lot of people do that. There is an opening right here. Uh, again, all the bathrooms are just really wild. You see just the cool fixtures and stuff like that going on over here. Plus we have like a, a multi-jetted shower both upstairs and downstairs. Walk into here, of course. And then we got our hot tub and our sauna over here with a TV that you can watch your Netflix or whatever you want to do. So again, hot tub, sauna room, stuff like that. That's the main floor. Let's go downstairs and check out Ponzilla. By the way, it is true. He beats my butt in air hockey every time. Even though Connie wanted to keep them out of the enclosure while we were cleaning. Dixie has found her way back like four times now. She's going to go right back to right now. I mean, I just pulled her off the fence, so I don't know how well it's working. Meanwhile, Diddy's way back there doing his daily walkabout. I'm just cleaning all the stuff that she's pulling she out. She pulled out the big rock that comes out, so I took that out back, scrubbed it down, and then we did the water bowl, and then all the plants. As soon as she's done vacuuming, we just gotta wipe down all the glass, dirt back in, redecorate the entire thing, and then they can go back home. Because poor Dixie is like, what are you doing to my eggs? Even though they were no good, so, but she goes. Dixie, sweetheart, you're gonna hurt yourself. We don't want you to hurt yourself. Of course, I got my little koi pond and pond. So this is a 5,000 gallon koi pond. Doing so well. We're actually gonna put some more koi in here. For now, they've been doing really well. So I think we're gonna get maybe another dozen koi, something on that line, just because they're so cool. Pondzilla is great. And then again, you can uh, watch your TV sit. You know, you got the waterfall behind you with the pond and stuff like that. You got a pool table and you decide you wanna play pool. So. Again, yeah, this is an Airbnb. So you can stay at the aquarium house when you come visit us at the Reptile. Yeah. When we open up the Legacy Aquarium, it's gonna be really Perfect. cool. In fact, I'll put a, a link in the description to this house. It's just such a cool house, man. You're gonna hurt yourself, dude. You gotta stop. I'm almost done. I'm done. Let's go tears. You cleaned those already? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. I've been busy too, you know. I'm just cleaning up after you. Wow. It's like when my husband like actually does the dishes and I'm like, oh my god. Okay. All you gotta do is clean the glass and you soak. <laughs> Ah, you know, adding this to the list of professions. Shoot! Oh, mama's coming. Mama's coming. Where do they go? Ew, there's poopy. Careful where you step. Daddy? Is he in the basket? No. No, he's, he's... <gasps> Daddy! Oh my God. Come on. Whew! So we're actually gonna do brine shrimp for these guys. And basically what I do is I have a frozen cube here of brine shrimp. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some water in here, put it in there like this, and then we'll set it over here and let it thaw out for the next maybe five minutes. Once it's all thawed out, then we pour it back in and the fish get a feast. All right, away we go. I love seeing these guys eat. How cool that is, huh? Seems again like it's forever away with the aquarium, you know, feeding fish and stuff like that. But we're literally like three and a half months away from our deadline to where we hope we'll be open. I mean, will we do it in three and a half months? It's hard to say, but we're not gonna be that far off. So I definitely think that say four months at the most, but I am shooting for that Christmas holiday season. I wanna be open for Christmas. So we're gonna work out regardless. We are not that far away from having instead of little tanks like this, we're feeding a little brine shrimp, having gigantic tanks and a ton of them. I mean, when you guys see this done, it's gonna be so so freaking awesome. I have a horse riding a guana. Was that cringe? It's a definition of cringe. <laughs> I just like the thought that this is going on the internet for it to be immortalized for the rest of my life. And I'm just dancing like, I was like, save a horse riding a guana. <laughs> Look at Dixie, she's actually helping Connie spread the dirt around. And quite, to be honest with you, I don't know if she's like trying to rebury her eggs. I mean, obviously she has that maternal instinct. I have eggs in here. Maternal? She has a maternal instinct. So I wonder what she's doing. Like, I wonder what she's thinking. Is she trying to rebury them? But she didn't even bury them in the first place. But it's kind of cute that it looks like she's helping Connie spread the dirt. Yep, I thought I saw it. Here he is. Diddy. Are you staying away from her? I don't really blame you, buddy. She's a little, uh, Hormonal. There's just spiders and I'm like freaked out right now, so I literally can't move my knees. Chicken. I literally can't move my feet. I feel like I'm just like paralyzed. I thought, okay, now I'm back. <laughs> so it looks like the enclosure is all ready to go. We've got Diddy getting reintroduced. Dick Sarity made her way there. Let's hope that they're that... reacclimated, um, that they could take it easy on each other. Dixie gives Diddy a break. Good job. 
ones I typically just throw in frozen and they just nibble off. Of course, these are the gear of fish, which are really cool. And uh, again, speaking of fish, we went over the final plans and got everything figured out now. Now we know every single tank, where it's gonna go, what's gonna go in it, everything like that. Uh, I tell you what, it's not that far off and everything is gonna work out. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, yeah. She loves him.